Remember like two years ago when the Cursorless tutorial came out and I was like, we're going to have this interactive version super soon? Well, on a geological time scale, I was not lying because that day is here. A mere two years later, Sierra Nevadas have barely budged and we have a Cursorless tutorial in VS Code. Cursorless tutorial. Drowse. As you can see, on the left are the instructions. On the right is just a normal editor. Um, we highlight the marks to make it a bit easier to know what you're targeting here. So here we know that the cap is that each right there. And we just say the command, take cap, drowse. And as you can see, it auto advances every time you issue a command. Take blue spun, drowse. Now, one of the things I like about this format is that, again, it's just an editor. And so if you have a question, um, you can just find out by trying it. Chuck line, drowse. And you can just play, you can do whatever you want. So if you know, you're like, okay, well, uh, what happens if I select two tokens or various different things, just play with it. And whenever you're done playing, you can just say, tutorial resume, drowse. And you just get right back into the tutorial. So there's a couple of commands. There's, there's not really too much to explain here. It's supposed to be pretty self-explanatory, but um, obviously uh, if you have questions, um, drop them in the comments. Um, come find us on Slack, open up a GitHub issue. Uh, you can check the cheat sheet. We have a new section on the tutorial. Cursorless cheat sheet. Drowse and got a lot of stuff in here. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, here uh, are all the tutorial commands and like, Mostly you don't need them. Tutorial um, restart can be useful if you want to try one again. Um, tutorial list takes you to the list of tutorials. Um, let's take a look at that. Coder. Tutorial list. Drowse. So as you can see, here's the tutorials. There's a little clock here because we haven't finished it. Goes to a green check mark when you're done. Today, there's only two tutorials as of the recording of this video, but this machinery is quite generic and it's quite easy to add new tutorials. So expect more. We're gonna be dipping deep into the cursorless katas. If you haven't seen those, really awesome way to learn cursorless, but they're not built into VS Code, so it's a bit extra. Um, and also uh, Josh's um, cursorless by example videos, also awesome, but also just videos. So it's you're not seeing it live in your editor um, and you can't play with it in the same way. But we're gonna start stealing that content and turning them into interactive tutorials. If you wanna build a tutorial, come find us on GitHub, file an issue, and we're, we're gonna be adding some documentation. It should be fairly straightforward to add them. We have a lot of pretty sophisticated machinery here. Um, that's all there is to say on this one. Um, and we look forward to releasing more tutorials soon. And in the meantime, happy coding. Record stop.